Okay. This is Shuttle Launch Control at T minus nine minutes and holding with just under 40 seconds remaining in our hold. And those words from Launch Director Jim Harrington to NASA Test Director John Guidi that we will pick up the count at T minus nine minutes on time. And if we don't have word from the range uh, that uh, they have resolved their problem, then we will hold at T minus five minutes until that problem is resolved. All weather issues have been cleared. Uh, we're not working any weather concerns at this point, either from a launch standpoint or a return to a launch site landing abort uh, point. We are four minutes away from picking up the count. T minus nine minutes and counting. T minus nine minutes and counting. We're in the process now of retracting the orbiter access arm that uh, permits the crew to enter and depart from the orbiter Columbia. T minus five minutes and counting. CLT OTC perform APU start. We have a go for APU start. APU start in work. CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. No problems are being reported from the crew. and initiate O2 flow. This test team has worked really hard to get you to this point. It's your turn for a great 16 day mission. We're closing our visors and uh, we can't wait to get to work. Let's go for ET LH2 T minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting. Launch operations continue to go well this morning as the Space Shuttle Columbia soon will begin its 16-day mission to continue microgravity research. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 50 seconds and counting. And we are transferring to orbiter in internal power at this time. Columbia is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up for a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's, Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 15 seconds. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for the
plane going throttle up. Three main engines on Columbia now back in full throttle. Columbia is now in one and a half minutes. It's current almost two and a quarter million pounds of propellant already. Weighing less than half of what it did at launch. Three main engines on Columbia working well at full throttle. Good hydraulic systems, good electrical systems. Altitude now 100,000 feet, 14 miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia traveling. 2,800 miles per hour. Flight controllers are standing by for burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket first stage. Upcoming in just about eight seconds. Good solid rocket booster separation is confirmed. Columbia now on its three main engines, second stage. Altitude 185,000 feet, 38 nautical miles downrange from the launch pad. Columbia traveling at 3,500 miles per hour, continuing in a steep climb. Columbia, performance nominal. Performance nominal. That call to the spacecraft indicates that performance of the first stage solid rockets was just as planned. Columbia, two engine Ben Guerrier. Two engine Ben. And I Columbia can now perform an emergency transatlantic landing at Ben Guerrier, Morocco if required. All systems continue to be go. Altitude 250,000 feet, downrange from Kennedy Space Center about 65 nautical miles.